Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Eric. So in front of me is a 2021 GMC Sierra ET4 Carbon Pro Edition. And in this video, what I'm gonna be doing is going over how to install Expel paint protection film on this lower steel bumper. These steel bumpers, they chip up so fast due to how thin the paint is. So yeah, in this video, I'm gonna be taking you along and showing you guys how I go about installing these bumpers they can be pretty tricky to install but I'll get it done I'll okay so now I'm going to start by back rolling the bumper onto or the film onto the bumper now I've got it all pre-cut already and I'm just gonna made a bit of a dry spot on the bumper that I can stick the film to just temporarily so I can back roll on Okay, so just gonna move the camera a little bit right here. All right, so what I'm gonna do, pull the film back, get some slip solution behind there. Make sure that there's no dry spots on the bumper and on the film. Good. Okay, so it's actually, when you're doing a installation where you've got sensors, it's really easy to know where to start because you're always gonna wanna start at those sensors. So I'm gonna take and get this sensor tacked down. Then I'm gonna stretch over here to the second sensor, get that tacked down. And then I'm gonna work my way around with this middle piece here and get this into place. There's a little bit of stretch involved in these bumpers. It's not too terribly bad though. So that's gliding freely. There we go. Okay, now you can see how there's some fingers that are starting to uh, form up over here. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna pull the film back, <laughs> stretch those out. Massage it all flat just with my hand. Now I've got this bit down here. So you could start by going up, like I said I was going to do, or you could start by going down, getting this area down, but I'm going to stick to my word and I'm going to get this down first. So I'm just going to get a little bit of tack solution in behind there. squeegee down. And now I'm going to take and squeegee over from the middle sensor over here. And I'm going to lift this up. Put that back down. That's good. I'll come back later and do uh, this part over here, but for the most part, I just want to get the, the bigger areas of the bumper done. So, just going to go up from this body line, push all that moisture up, and then go back and forth over that body line again, 
make sure that there's no moisture being left behind. You need just a little bit more tack solution in there. down. Now I'm just going to adjust the camera a little bit. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull the film back one more time. Get some extra slip solution in behind there. Get some slip solution on the top of the film as well. Now you can see right over here we do have it where it's notched out this is to overlap and give some protection on the inside of that the bumper so what I like to do here is before I put any tack solution behind there or anything I just like to give it a bit of a pre-stretch hold it there in place a little bit come back, pull the film back, and just do some tack solution right along the bottom there. Stretch it back into place. It's tacking too quick. There we go. Perfect. Now, this is gonna wrap around perfectly, but I always I always do this part last. So So the rest of this part over here, what I'm gonna do is just get some tack solution in behind there. And start squeegeeing downward. Perfect. Now I'm just going to squeeze you down. And there we go. So that part right there is done. Now what I'm going to do is just get some tack solution in here. And I'm just gonna run my squeegee at an angle. Just go right along the body line. And lock it into place. This is just a prime example of what kind of crazy amounts of coverage there is with these X-Bell patterns because the film tucks in way further than I can even possibly reach just with my finger. So, there we go. So that's the driver's side down. Now I'm gonna take and move over to the passenger side. Film back, get some slip solution in behind there. I'm just gonna lay this down again. Now 
Now what I'm gonna do is I'm actually just gonna move the camera back a little bit. Get this locked into place. Make sure that everything's gliding freely over there. Get some more slip solution over the top of the bumper. Now, spray some slip or some tack solution in behind by the sensor over here. Got that thing lined up. I'm gonna come along that top body line there. There we go. Now I can take and squeegee all this down. Get some tack solution in behind here. And then just with my squeegee at an angle, get all that out there. Now I'm going to come back over. I'm going to come back over, and I'm just going to get the top part over here squeegeed into place. Perfect. Now. and I'm going to get this stretched into place over here. like on the driver's side, get some tack solution in behind this top part of the bumper. Now one thing you're going to notice over here is there's a lot less of a gap as compared to the driver's side and that's consistent with all these new GMC Sierras. The bumper is not level at all and that's how it comes from the factory. So if you're doing paint protection film on one of these, and you gotta get that film in there, you might have to resort to using a hard card or a very, very thin squeegee. Um, this one isn't as bad. I will be able to get my squeegee in there, but some are really, really bad where I can't get my squeegee in there at all, so I have to resort to using a hard card, which it works. It's not, it's not ideal. If you go with too much pressure, you can damage the top of the film and uh, kind of defeats the whole purpose of putting paint protection film on your vehicle if you're going to damage the film during your install. But, yeah, there you go. Okay, so that top part is done. Got all that squeegeed out. Come along over here. Get this all done. Pull this back. Get some tack solution in there. down. Get some tack solution in over here. Get some solution on the top of the film so the squeegee can continue to glide. That's laying flat. off the passenger side of this bumper right here. There we 
go. There we go. Got to get him on a slip behind there. Same thing as the driver's side. Big pre-stretch. Hold that there for a bit. Get some tack solution behind there. Big pre-stretch again. Make sure it's all lining up, which it is. Hold there. Perfectly. Okay. Now, just getting some tack solution in behind here. I'll squeeze you down, just go over that body line, make sure there's no trap moisture there. Good, now I can start pushing all the moisture down towards the bottom. Get that in. I'm gonna pull up the film here a little bit, just get some tack solution in there. Blush out whatever remaining slip solution there is. Okay, that is good. Now I'm gonna work on doing this wrapped edge. Okay, so on this wrapped edge, what I'm gonna do is just with my thumb, gonna go up and down and kinda lay that into place. I wanna make sure that this looks clean on my install. And by doing that, I'm just getting it into place by my with my hand first. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna go along, squeegee it down, lock it into place. Perfect. Okay, so I'm gonna go do the same thing on the other side. I'm gonna post heat it. And um, this bumper is done. So, there we go. You kind of see it right there. Thanks a lot for checking out this video. I uh, hope you guys found some value in it. If you did, make sure you uh, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and stay tuned for the next one. Take care.